Okay, so this is the amplifier uh, that's been installed into the Bluetooth speaker. I now have everything working and in a finished format. So let's listen to some non-copyrighted music. Okay, so look what I just got from old China. It is my new Bluetooth amp that's going to finish off my Bluetooth speaker. And it comes with these little knobs here that go on the amp. The only thing I really have to do is drill the holes for the placement of the amp and then hook up all the speakers and uh, I'll be very close to done. Okay, so can see here didn't really come in any static protection or anything so hopefully nothing's popped or blown up but uh, the electronics look pretty decent and uh, 
Let's see if we can't get this thing installed. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is, it came in a box, and I'm going to make a template out of this box, and that way I can uh, place the holes on the template, then place the template on the enclosure, and it should be pretty simple. So what I'm thinking is, we'll just take this seam right here, Laps off and we'll use the bottom edge to kind of place it. Kind of want it I tried to make the template as uh, straight as possible and what I did is I made marks with the tip of my screwdriver on my drill bit and put them in the positions because I made an impression with the actual amp. And now you can see it fits perfectly on the cardboard cutout and I'm gonna use this as a template for the unit itself. And everything is clear on the backside so we should be good to go. So, what I'm gonna to wanna to do now is make it so that my template will fit that location cut some stuff off of here try and line up these two outer holes and keep it relatively centered with these holes here so it's not going to be perfect but good enough So I ran into a problem because this has such short screw uh, screws on them. They're very, very shallow. So what I'm going to do is create a plate and I'm going to put the plate on the inside. I'm going to mount this to the plate and then I'm going to mount the plate to the inside of the unit and that should at least get me uh, onto it and then I'll probably have to... Um, Put some kind of support under here uh, but I'll do that after I get this on okay so I got it mounted plate worked out that was not easy by any stretch to get in there but it's pretty solid 
now what I have to do is this was my temporary amp. So uh, I'd make it so that I could move stuff if I had to. So let's see here. This I need to be routed. And power can now go here. So that should work out. I'll probably put a piece of Velcro there to keep it there. Let's make sure it can still shut. Oh, yep, still shuts. So that's that. Now let's see here. Now I have to hook up the speakers. So speakers were going to this. Then I have to reroute them back up and over to this. Okay, so when you're first booting up the Bluetooth speaker that I designed, the number one thing is, is that you have two switches. You have a switch here, that's your AC switch, and you have a switch here, that's your DC switch. So one of them needs to be switched on in order to boot up the system. So I'm going to do the AC. You should hear a tone, and then it should connect to whatever Bluetooth device you have it paired to. In this case, I have my phone paired to it, and now you can play whatever you want. So I am going to do that. Now, it, you can see down here that it says 12.9 volts. That's what it's putting out on its 12 volt output. I have multiple outputs inside the unit, and this is just one of them. So if I switch on the battery, it automatically knows that it has a battery connected to it. And if I were to lose power, like take the switch now, turn it off, you can see it dropped down to 12.6. That's because my battery has not been charged up fully yet, but it's mostly charged. So put it back on. And as you can see, it went right back up to 12.9. Now let's play something so we can check it out. So let's go to YouTube. And I'm doing some non-copyrighted uh, sounds here. Why? Because I don't want to get hit. And you can turn it up or down from, from the uh, phone or locally right here with this switch here. That's the volume. It's the main volume. here on the meter it now shows that it's not very loud but if I turn it up you see it's pushing the meter higher This is my uh, tone, and this is 
my tone volume. This is my bass frequency, and this is my bass volume. So I've kept them pretty much at about a little over half. It starts way over here, so maybe actually a little under half on all of them. And then I've taken this one and put it about three quarters. So let's look at the internals. Okay, so let's open this thing up. So, like I said, and if I were to pull the plug here, even with this switch on, I can turn the switch off. It's still powered. And I can pull AC all together to the unit. If I flip the unit around, like I said, I have a bass speaker. So this is my subwoofer. And then I have a penetration here that has a cone and that goes uh, about three quarters of the way through and that is to allow air to escape from the unit itself and I pulled that from that Logitech speaker as well so if you pop the two covers here you can see what I got going on in here let's just let's just this a little higher here so as you can see I have my main amplifier right there that I got from China it was around $25 plus a little bit of tax I think and I have my VU unit right there and that is for the lights and that's tied into my speakers that's why I used wire nuts so I could um, easily remove or reattach things I have just some connectors on the speaker and these are marine grade uh, boss speakers and <clears throat> then I have a wire connected to my uh, voltage readout along with USB ports and that's also marine gauge. Um, I have my subwoofer right there and I soldered those connectors on just for the main fact that uh, <clears throat> I didn't have the right connectors sizes. And then up here is a uh, buck converter and I have a, another converter with a readout that <clears throat> can show how many volts I am actually putting in my amplifier. So I boosted my 12 volt battery and my 12 volt power supply with the uh, converters so that I could get 20 volts going to the amplifier. Then I also have down here, I'm going to set this down gently, down here I have my uh, 12 volt jack that's connected to a USB converter to go 5 volts because of the fact that the VU unit itself utilizes 5 volts. Then I also have my AC coming in here, going to a block and getting converted down into 12 volts right there. All in all, uh, came out pretty well. I also made this homemade battery, uh, and I utilized my homemade um, spot welder that's in that green can to make that battery. And then I just wired the battery through this toggle um, switch in order to go to the battery input on the power supply. And that allows me to turn it on or off whenever I want to. Um, so that's pretty much it for the internals. I did have to cut out all of these boxes and I will be showing you in the background on this video some of the build that it took to create this Bluetooth speaker. Invincible.